Hey babe, where are we going? Paris. Are you excited? I'll miss you, Brutus. See you soon. Daddy's gonna be back really soon. We're about to embark on the greatest adventure of our life. I thought that was our wedding. How is a wedding an adventure? I feel like this is the first page to the novel that is my life. I hope you make it out alive. Our book is called Call Me By Your... Call Me By Your Bottom. Yes. I'm so excited. Our first travel together. Being at the airport is so fun, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There's so much stuff to do. I mean, especially that we spent two hours at the lounge drinking. Now I'm a bit tipsy. I want to do something funny. I want to do something fun. Wee! Whoa! Wee! <laughs> <laughs> Look, we even matched our luggage to our backpack. That's Max's. Mine's beige vibes. And this is the backpack that's in Call Me By Your Name and we're taking it to Italy. So we just board the plane. The flight's gonna be about six hours long, which really is not that bad if you think about it. We're gonna be there at nine in the morning, which is 3 a.m. our time, which is usually the time that we go to bed, so. I might just sleep the whole thing. You can lay on me. Shoulder is good for you. Look, I'm all ready. I brought my neck pillow. Oh, it's big. Mm -hmm. That's what she said. This tastes so good when you're up in the air, but when you're just at home, it tastes like plastic. Hey babe, we made it to France. I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. So babe, I'm taking you to a special reservation that I made. Apparently it's really cute inside, it's called Hotel Particulier. So come with me. Are you excited? I'm so hungry. Santé. Mm. For you. Mm. This is lamb. This is good. Yum. It's seven in the morning and it's still so dark. Mm -hmm. Can't even see the sunrise yet. This is what it looks like out the window. Very Parisian. Yesterday was a shit show, by the way. We landed at 10 in the morning. We tried to check in the hotel, but our room wasn't ready. So then Max had the bright idea to take us to a really fancy restaurant <laughs> while I was like oily and gross. You were not, you were pretty. I literally was like half asleep eating my lunch. We were so jet lagged, that's why. But now we're fresh and awake at seven in the morning. Mm -hmm. We're staying at this hotel called Hotel Suki super cute the room is really tiny mm. we were looking for like a boutique hotel that's cheap but tasteful and i think we got it like 
This room is so cute, right? We're in La Marais. Le Marais. Le Marais, which is a gay area. It's called a swamp. So it's very much fitting to our, um, our gay needs. We're the first ones here, and we've never been the first one anywhere. So this is so fucking cool. Even the staff isn't here yet, so... Look at the French bus. French bus. Sick. It's bitter, but it's good because we're in Paris. <laughs> I have a different taste bud here in Paris. Good coffee in the morning so that we get energy to go explore everything. Yo, every corner of Paris is so beautiful. I haven't seen one area where I'm like, wow, it's so ugly. <laughs> Everywhere is beautiful. It's like, it's like jumping into a magazine. I feel like I'm living in a movie right now, actually. Mm. Paris, you're pretty. It's high to the top. Get on me. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Should we move here? One of these beautiful condos. Right. One day when we retire. We're gonna live in Paris. Yas in Paris. How does that sound? It's the new Netflix special. Max and Yas in Paris. Where are we off to? La Maison Rose, the pink house. Oh no! The scooter! It's broken! <laughs> You're lame. We went to a French grocery store because I wanted to try their snacks. French snack, how is it? It's so good. Can I have one? Um, mm. It reminds me of something I had before. <laughs> so this place was called Le Latin Agile. It was a cabaret and apparently uh, Picasso used to go there. Too. So you see at the back over there? This place is from the movie Amélie Poulain. And uh, you can see her also over there. She was working here in the movie. It's an old French movie. The question is, why are you drinking beer at 11 in the morning? Well, it might be 11 here, but it's 4 o'clock somewhere. Cheers. go see the Mona Lisa. Let's go and find out how she smiles, really. Oh my god, it's my first time at the vet. <laughs> at the what? At the vet. At the loo. <laughs> What's Look over at there? that pyramid. It's the pyramid right there. Oh, this is so pretty. Is that the Arc de Triomphe? No. Is oh, it? is it? You know what, the most important thing is that it looks like a thing. Okay, let's go see the thing. Where is the entrance? I guess it's in the middle. The entrance is right here, actually. Yeah? The right. entrance is right here. Right there. I feel that I keep repeating the same thing over and over. Paris is beautiful. I am here. 
so very beautiful. You're beautiful. <laughs> Want to tell them what happened? I wasn't allowed in the museum because I was gay. So they told me that I had to drink my latte outside and I have to leave my queerness behind. <laughs> she was like, "Are you, you look like a femme Asian bottom. You're not allowed to enter here with a latte. So I have to finish it. No, yeah, she just told you the coffee is not allowed inside. Go drink it. No, she literally said, go away, you twink. <laughs> sure. I can't believe I'm in Paris. I can't believe they let a twink into Paris. I thought there's a lot of twinks in Paris. I think I'm the first twink in Paris. <laughs> You're delusional, yes. <laughs> Drink your latte, you twink. Oh, Timothy Chalamet. He's right there. Where? Right there. There's Timothy right there. Hi, uh, yes. Look. We're together now. I totally thought my hair looked like shit, but then I just saw myself in the mirror and I'm like, whoa, it actually looks pretty good. <laughs> Something about Paris, I guess. I'm in Paris. I'm the only twink in Paris. Did you know that? You, you said that earlier. I know, but I just want to remind everyone. <laughs> Holy shit balls. That is like the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. You're the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Are you gagging? Wait, look, look. It's us having sex. <laughs> what? It's the Mona Lisa. It's smaller than I thought. Oh my god. It's actually pronounced, it's actually pronounced Muna, Muna Lisa. It's not. <laughs> so there are theories that the lady in the painting is actually a gay man who was Da Vinci's lover. I'm gonna go with that theory. It's not, it's not him. I told, I thought that was Timothy Chalamet, it's not him. I was gonna go and say hi because we're old friends. You need glasses. It's not him. This place is humongous. 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 Uh, I'm getting so tired of walking, my feet hurt. Well, at least we saw Miss Lisa from Blackpink. I mean, Mona Lisa from Blackpink. I mean, Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, hear me out, but should I make it a mission to film all the twinks that I see in Paris? Just so we know what they look like. And then I can give you guys tips and, trips on, tips and tricks on how to uh, hunt one and how to get them to introduce you their mom and dad so you can become Parisian. Tip number one is bring lots of gummy worms because that's what they like to eat. That's all the tip I have for now, but I'll figure it out. When I figure out more, I'll tell you. Look, babe, it's the Venus de Milo. She can give us a hug, she has no arms. <laughs> it's so mean. I can give you a hug because I have arms. Hey, Venus. High five. Hey babe, look, carnival. Babe, you wanna go sit on Santa's lap? I already have my own Santa. <laughs> Should we ride a carousel together? It's a date. I legitimately feel like we're in a Christmas rom-com right now. <laughs> Maybe it's a murder mystery. No, it's rom-com. <laughs> is, it, is it like a Christmas scary movie where the bad Santa over there is gonna kill us all? <laughs> <laughs> You've been naughty this year, boy. Ho, ho, ho. Yes, you've been a ho, ho, ho. <laughs> I have been a ho. <laughs> so we can see the Eiffel Tower from here, mm -hmm. but we're actually quite far from the tower, but it seems like we're close. Paris, je t'aime. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know what this is, but it looks like a thing. I still can't believe we're in Paris. We're in Paris. It feels like a dream. Like, I, it doesn't feel real right now. Look at that! We made it to the Arc du Triomphe. This is our final stop for the night. We're so tired. We walked so much today. My feet hurt like hell, but it was worth it. So, if you had to summarize Paris in one word, what would it be? Insanely beautiful in one word. I cannot just summarize it in one word. I can't. For me, it would be Paris. Je t'aime. 
I now understand why people call Paris the city of love because just imagine going on a date with someone here. I feel I would just fall in love in one day. Excuse me, we're already I'm married. Mm -hmm. That's better. And next up tomorrow is Milan, uh, Italy. Are you excited? Yeah. We're gonna see you guys in Milan. Bye, babes.